my name is Mike McLaughlin. I'm a professor in soil science at Adelaide University. Uh, specialise in soil constraints, uh, plant nutrition, fertiliser use efficiency. Acidity really affects root elongation on soils, particularly fine roots. And where you've got a nutrient that is limited in its movement in soil, it's really important for the plant roots to get that nutrient by having fine high surface area roots. So in an acid soil, if we have aluminium or manganese, that really reduces root hairs. It will reduce the fine roots in the system and therefore the plant will suffer nutrient deficiencies for elements uh, that are not mobile. So elements that are not mobile would be phosphorus, for example. Uh, it's the macronutrient that's least mobile. And therefore, generally you'll find in acid soils, aluminium toxicity is often expressed as phosphorus deficiency in plant tops. So you see a bluish purpling of the leaves. And that's an indication of phosphorus deficiency, which uh, in a high rainfall environment is high li highly likely to be uh, because of aluminium toxicity in the root system. And if you dig up the plant and you see little short stubby fat roots, that's probably because of aluminium toxicity. So for, uh, for other uh, nutrients, uh, generally trace elements are more available in acid soils, so we don't generally see a lot of trace element deficiencies, except perhaps molybdenum, uh, which interacts with legumes. But the other big issue with acid soils uh, in terms of crop nutrition is the survival and the um, activity of rhizobia bacteria. Uh, legumes, so grain legumes, which rely on atmospheric nitrogen, require rhizobium to be effective in the soil, uh, present in the soil, and effective at inoculation of the roots. And so uh, acidic systems, rhizobia, do not survive well. Plant roots are also not receptive to infection by the rhizobium, and therefore legume crops are going to be affected by soil acidity as well. Uh, in the end, you have to lime your soils because if you allow acidification to proceed, you will generally reduce the cation exchange capacity of the soil because you're dissolving clay minerals and you'll end up with a much less fertile soil over time.